On June 21 this year, Prince William will be 40 years old, and it seems that the event is still a month away, but the gifts have not been long in coming. The first gift in honor of the Duke's anniversary was made by the UK King's Money, a portrait of Cambridge will decorate the five coin. The design for the gift was unveiled last Monday, and it is reported that the coin is based on a photograph taken at the Prince's birthday party in June 2018 at the British Ambassador's residence in Amman. The coin depicts a three-quarter profile of the Prince, with the Duke's eyes pointing to the upper right corner. On the left side you can see the number 40, which is a reference to the anniversary number, and on the right side you can see the letter W adorned with a crown, which characterizes the name and future status of William. There will also be a limited edition of two coins, including a 0.25 ounces celebration gold coin and a 1982 sovereign, English gold coin, which is the year the Duke was born. In addition, the collection will include a limited edition coin made of pure gold weighing 5 ounces using special laser technology that creates a high relief finish that gives Prince William's portrait an enhanced three-dimensional look. Experts note that this is the first time a member of the royal family, who so far is only the second in line for the throne, Solo decorates the coin with his portrait. You can pre-order the coin at the Royal Mint's official website, royalmint.com. This coin shows the balance of energies that His Royal Highness combines. The Prince perfectly combines the roles of a young Pope with the status and responsibilities of the future King of Great Britain, explained engraver Thomas T. Doherty. Thomas said the design of this coin is one of the biggest achievements of his career. Even though we occupy different positions, I understand what it's like to be 40 years old. I have a family, too, so I share Prince's feelings. I wanted to accurately capture His Royal Highness at this stage in life," Doherty concluded. It is assumed that the Duke's gala party will be arranged by Queen Elizabeth II herself. By the way, it will not be a simple event, but a double celebration. The fact is that because of the coronavirus pandemic in January this year, Kate Middleton celebrated her anniversary only in a small circle. That's why Her Majesty is going to give a private gift not only to her grandson, but also to the Duchess of Cambridge. Prince William gave a moving speech at the unveiling of the Glade of Light Memorial for the victims of the terrorist attack at Ariana Grande's 2017 concert in Manchester and offered words of condolence to the families of the victims. The Duke of Cambridge was accompanied at the event by his wife, Kate Middleton. The Prince delivered a poignant address to guests. He could barely hold back tears as he recounted the bitterness of losing loved ones, recalling his own experience. William's mother, Princess Diana, died in a horrific car accident in 1997 when the prince was just 15 years old. Catherine and I know that the effects of the atrocity will last a lifetime and longer and that the healing process is still ongoing. As someone who lives with his grief, I know full well that it is important for those who are grieving that those we have lost are not forgotten, Prince William pronounced. There is comfort in remembering. In the recognition that, despite the terrible deaths, our loved ones still live on in our memories. 127.00.1 Today was a truly historic day for Prince Charles, who gave his first solemn speech during the traditional opening ceremony of the British Parliament. It is worth noting that the event was also attended by his wife Camilla Parker Bowles and son Prince William. It is known that the celebration took place in Westminster Abbey, and before the meeting the British authorities were notified that Elizabeth II will not attend the ceremony due to health problems. At Her Majesty's request and the consent of the authorities, the Prince of Wales will give a speech on behalf of the Queen. The Duke of Cambridge will also be present, Buckingham Palace said. Before the ceremony began, Prince Charles took his seat on the consort throne and the sovereign throne, which is usually occupied by the Queen, was removed from the hall. It is worth noting that Prince William took a seat to his father's right, while Camilla Parker Bowles positioned herself to her husband's left. My lords, please be seated. Her Majesty prays that the blessings of Almighty God may rest on your councils, Prince Charles said during his speech. The Prince of Wales concluded his speech by saying how excited, happy and proud the Queen is to celebrate her Platinum Jubilee. The Prince also mentioned the upcoming Commonwealth Games, which will take place this August. An excerpt from the national anthem God Save the Queen was played as Prince Charles, Camilla Parker Bowles, Prince William, and the monarch's royal secretary, Edward Young, left Parliament. Of course, the event lacked the presence of Elizabeth II, but she was advised to manage her powers wisely, because there was a series of important events ahead. By the way, representatives of the palace noted that, despite Her Majesty's absence at the opening of Parliament, the Queen continues to attend to her duties at Windsor Castle. It seems that Meghan Markle is going to give battle to Queen Elizabeth II and compete with her statuses. 
It is worth noting that the Duchess may succeed, because the sister of the current President of the United States, Joe Biden invited the Duchess to join the Democratic Party, and then all ready to run for election in 2024. Certainly, the policy and behavior of the present USA President, to put it mildly, is strange and incomprehensible. Probably for this reason Valerie Biden Owens, 76 years old, decided that such posts should be occupied by the person, who at least is in sober mind, memory and is not lost in space. However, Joe Biden's sister did not criticize her relative, but only noted that Meghan is a young and promising woman, and there should be many more such people in politics. In addition, for 10 years, the Biden family has been in close contact with Prince Harry, and now the Duchess herself has decided to take advantage of the connection. It's wonderful that there are more women in politics. The more women there are, the better the democratic system will work. We invite Meghan to become part of that system and the Democratic Party, Owen said. Valerie also called Meghan a good candidate for president. The politician didn't forget to talk about the campaign that Joe Biden is currently running. Of course, Valerie didn't criticize her brother for serious mistakes and noted that he will run for president in 2024 as well. It's worth noting that Republicans have long accused Joe Biden of being profoundly unfit, especially horrified by his psychic health. He tells the truth. Sometimes he's wrong, but I would call it an oversight, Valerie commented on her brother's behavior. However, Owens also said she wasn't thrilled with Biden and Trump's protesting of the 2020 election, because it destroyed part of their family. I didn't like the fact that he was running against the former president because I think Trump was out to destroy my brother and my family. Joe is the right man and he has things left to do that he needs to see through. Americans know who Joe is, Valerie said proudly, turning a blind eye to her brother's fatal missteps and the opinion of the public. By the way, it was Owens who was a senior advisor to Baden's presidential campaign in 2020, and now they will continue their collaboration in the upcoming election in 2024. Less than a month remains before the main celebration for all Britons, the Trooping the Colour Parade in honour of the Queen of Great Britain's birthday. Who will join Her Majesty on the balcony of Buckingham Palace was announced yesterday by a palace official. The Queen has decided that this year's traditional Trooping the Colour balcony appearance on Thursday June 2nd, will be limited to Her Majesty and those members of the royal family who are currently performing official public duties on behalf of the Queen. 17 members of the royal family will appear in public with the Queen that day. They include Prince Charles and Duchess Camilla, Prince William and Kate Middleton with George, Charlotte, and Louis, Elizabeth's youngest son Prince Edward with his wife Sophia and children Louisa and James. As well as Princess Anne and her husband, Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence, the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester, the Duke of Kent and Princess Alexandra. The scandal plagued Prince Andrew, who is about to lose his status as Duke, is not invited. Neither are his daughters, Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie. Elizabeth's grandson Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are not on the royal lists either, they laid down their royal obligations back in 2020. However, the reunion of the royal family may still take place. Minutes after the announcement of the Queen's will, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry made their statement, in which they confirmed that they would attend the celebrations. And not alone, baby Lilibeth will come to London with them for the first time. And Elizabeth II will be able to finally meet her great-granddaughter. Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are thrilled and proud to be attending the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebration in June with their children, a spokesperson for the couple said. Harry and Meghan are expected to appear at the church service at St. Paul's Cathedral. But those close to the royal family do not rule out that the couple may also go out on the balcony of Buckingham Palace, contrary to the original plans. But the Queen wants the family to present a united front. There is a huge amount of effort going on behind the scenes to make that happen, insiders report.